Good morning campers. It's, let's see, Halloween 2014 and here we are with the Carmen Ghia electric Carmen Ghia project and let's see what we've got done this time. Is this gonna work? Okay, well last report we started moving the throttle linkage and the component layout for the motherboard which will control the engine, uh, the motor. So what I've done now is I started looking at these diagrams right here and tried to simplify them and basically what we have is two representations of the same circuit. What I've done here is taken those and made them as simple as possible. This is what I call my component board. What it does is it takes the charger input from this. This is actually a DC to DC converter which will create a uh, charge, acts like an alternator in the system. Bunch of big heavy duty fuses here, 30 amps, 600 volts. These are called contactors, they're basically huge relays switching large amperages. This is a shunt. Now a shunt's a strange instrument. Let's look at it here. Basically you take and you, a known resistance in this area and you measure it from two wires and that goes up to the machine here and it basically tells you the health, it's kind of like a gas gauge, health of the battery, uh, how much charge you've got left that kind of thing. So right back here in the back now all the controller is hooked up. <clears throat> We've got antifreeze in the system. I cleaned up the, the wiring harness here. All these wires go back into the car. This is part of the cooling system, the cooling pump. This is the controller, the 38 pin connector here that controls it. Got the engine down here, the motor, which, and this is actually my throttle right here. So, we've got that all hooked up. This is called a, uh, this is the charger, it's an Elcon PF1500 charger. What we're going to be doing here is called level one charging, which means we will be using 120 volts. Here's my input to charge the car in 12 to 18 hours, which will be fine for the amount of usage I'm doing. I had to take all these wires up in here and I actually ran them through the heater duct here. You can see, comes up through here, back out to here and this goes to the gauge. These all go to the gauge now. So I'll be wiring the gauges up here. This is the 12 volt system which we've done and covered in the past. So here's my wires from the rear and my display unit. So you need to wire those up. Ran them through the conduit here. So everything is nice and hidden. There's no wire showing. Back here we covered it up with a, uh, it was very tinny sounding, so I went with this, uh, oh it's this aluminum stuff, Dynamat they call it. This is a uh, Home Depot product. You can see the two holes here where the main battery cables are going to come through. This area here will take the motherboard over there and then it'll be connected from these wires here that'll actually control it and pass up the information. Next we will be looking at building a battery box for this. It'll Batteries will be six inches tall and it gives you a representation of how tall it is. So that's where we are today. So coming all together I figure I got one of a couple weeks to do the heavy duty batteries uh, cables which are going to be 2 watt. So I have a tool here 
that I bought. It's a hydraulic crimper that has different sets of dies with it. So now I'm going to learn how to make battery cables. So that's what we got there. Let's see anything else interesting here? Ah, uh, steel. Steel. And soon we will be putting our welding helmet on and fabricating up the box for the batteries. The batteries are on order. Uh, they'll be coming in hopefully in seven days and I'll be able to start debugging this sucker. So next thing we do is we debug it and hopefully if everything doesn't blow up in my face I'll have these suckers here turning over and I'll have like first movement. I'm going to be checking it out in the uh, this mode here first so I don't have to worry about reverse or any of that stuff. So everything's coming along pretty good. Happy about it. Having some issues. Everything turns out to be, oh, well, if I only had a sixteenth of an inch more kind of a thing, you know, then I could make it all work. But it was, I spent a whole lot of time getting this thing together. And hopefully I'll be able to slide that in, hook it up, and go. So, here we are.